This month has been bananas. Jay, what is going on? You're in the West Coast. I'm in the East Coast. Mm. And basically, I want to coast up out of this country, if not this planet, because this shit is like, I mean, literally, we're, we're falling face first off the top of a large building into the handmaid's tail. And I don't think people realize how serious this is just yet. <laughs> no, they don't. Not no, they really don't. Because the Supreme Court, it has been leaked. And I, and I want I'm dying to hear your thoughts on who you think leaked it. I think both the Democratic Party and the Republican Party both benefit from having this document leaked, by the way. But there is a leaked document that alludes strongly to the fact that the, the Supreme Court justices, the majority being conservatives, will be leaning towards overturning Roe v. Wade, which was the landmark case that set the precedent for federal legislature that allows for a woman's right to have an abortion. Um, this is what's on the line is that that could become a state issue, meaning it is no longer a federally protected law for women and that women would only have autonomy over their bodies in certain states. Not only is this problematic for a lot of reasons, um, for, for me, you know, Jay, I'm, I'm always looking ahead not where the ball is now, but where the ball rolls to. And what is on the line as well is not just abortion rights, but with abortion rights comes gay marriage. So gay marriage will be the next thing that the conservatives go towards overturning. Um, Marriage as a whole will be on the table, which includes interracial marriage. That is my prediction. As one state senator has already said, uh, he believes that interracial marriage should be decided by the state's. That means certain states will not recognize two people of different races being married together in the year 2022 in the United States. Uh, In my lifetime, I never even imagined that this would be in the realm of possibilities, let alone this many of our what we thought were protected laws being put on the line right now. What are your thoughts, Jay, on what's going on on these issues? Am I overreacting as usual or... I have no hope. I think I think both sides are complicit in this, by the way, the Democrats and the Republicans, whoever leaked it. I think both sides benefit. What are your thoughts? I think you're absolutely spot on. I think I think everybody else needs to catch up with you in realizing what the fuck is at stake. I think you're absolutely right about how both sides benefit. The Republicans are getting a shit ton of donations right now. Democrats are getting a shit ton of donations right now. And and the the midterms were already must see TV. But yep. cable news now just I don't know if they've already done up upfronts for later on this year, but like in terms of selling ads for election coverage, now right. you just you just doubled how much everybody's money. making money. Everybody's making Even money from this. Fox News, everybody's absolutely making money. You, everybody's you couldn't making get money. Trump back. And so you got the next best thing. You right. got an all out fucking culture war to the extent that we weren't already in one now already. Right. You know what I mean? Like you just got it. You get wall to wall culture war coverage. They're going to cover it like it's 9 11. Mm-hmm. You know? The Democrats needed this to reignite the base because their base is drowning in apathy right now. And the Republicans needed this as a nod to their base that they are in tr- on track to push through the things that they've wanted to push through uh, since the 50s. Yeah, they've been, they've been telling people to vote and donate for literally the last 70 years yep. to do this, or at least ever since Rose started in the 70s. You know what I mean? That This has right. been the thing that they've been trying to do for fucking decades. You know, it's always decades. been about the Supreme Court for them. Right. And the saddest part about it is that ultimately, I think the part for, at least on the Republican side of the aisle, that I find repulsive is that this is not about the safety and sanctity of life because the same people who are anti-abortion tend to be pro-death penalty. So, Mm -hmm. and the way they're able to rationalize that is because they say the people who get the death penalty are people who committed some type of egregious sin, Mm -hmm. but an unborn child is free of that. But I also thought that the Christian belief was that you weren't supposed to judge what's anybody in anybody's heart. And the only person who knows that person's heart was God. So maybe they can reconcile those two scriptures after they finish uh, implementing the handmaid's tale. Yeah. Not to mention if you're you're pro-life, and you care so much about these fucking babies, then how come as soon as the baby comes out of a fucking vagina, that baby's right. on its own? You get that baby's no on fuck. its own, and so is its mother. Yeah. No, you you don't want to do you you guys, they are abjectly against, they are vehemently opposed to vehemently. any form of like mandatory mat leave uh requirements, any you know, universal pre-K, 
uh, any kind of, you know, head start, you know, head yep. start, you know, or just giving, you know, giving money to poor mothers or, or and poor children. Like they, they are against any form of the government helping people or the government requiring the companies that these people work for to allow these people to, you know, some time off to bond with their kids or anything like that. They don't want to do anything to help these kids. No. And they also support forcing a, a female to have a child, even in the cases of rape and incest, which I think is probably the cruelest part about it. And sadly enough, what's even more bizarre is that while they're pushing through this propaganda and ideology, at the same time, kids are apparently too young to hear the word gay at the same time. So we can force them to have babies that are products of incest or rape, but apparently they're not old enough to hear the word gay in a classroom. Mm -hmm. Someone help me make me understand. They they also made rape and incest easier because they, they, they passed a law in Tennessee that says a 12 year old can get married. Right. So you can just, you can just have pedophilia is on, on cocaine apparently. And the same party force them to marry them. And that person can now get to have a baby and everything. But yeah, if they hear gay or if they read a bad word in a book at school, if they read a bad word, slavery at school, too young for any of that. Right. But they're okay with child marriage. Um, And interestingly, the child marriage is being pushed through by the Republican side of the party. So the whole thing is really schizophrenic. But at this point, the Democrats are so pitifully impotent that one has to wonder how will they control of, of the House and the Senate and yet have no power to do anything? 